So I have this thing called oddball lines because they don't slope. Sloping lines will go downhill or uphill, but they make a hill. Oddball lines don't make a hill. You got two kinds of oddball lines. We have this one, which is a flat line, and we have this one, which is a vertical line. Those are the two oddball lines because they don't use the regular process for finding slope all the way to getting a fraction. Something comes along and messes it up. So what I want to do is find the equation of the line, and it's all that stuff that we had before. Equation of a line through these two points. So I'll put my dot, 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 and I'll offer up what we might have. One of them we're going to do is 2, 4 to 5, 4. 2, 4 to 5, 4. I'm going to put that on the graph at the end of this to show you why it really happened. But this is 2, 4 to 5, 4. So I want to figure out what is going on here with these. So there we go. We've got 2, 4, and 5, 4. We have to find the change in y on top and the change in x on the bottom. None of that changes. So you don't have to memorize anything different. You just have to be ready for 0 to do its thing. When we go from 4 to 4, here I go. I'm going to draw my line at 0, and here's the first one at 4. And then the next one comes along, and it's also at 4. And the question is, how much did I move? You might say, you didn't move at all. You might say, how much did you move? None. I need a number for that. Moving none is moving 0 because... Zero, 4 plus 0 stays on 4. And now i got this other one, because this thing didn't move at all, so you don't see an arrow. So you're right on flatness, right? You're right on a, a non-moving of that thing at all. And now we got 2, 5. We're starting at 2, so my zero's down here. We're at 2 before we go up to 5. I just gave away that it's going up. But okay, we're going up to 5. So this is going to be up from 2 to 5, does not go through the 0. Question, does it go through the zero? No. Is it a long trip? No. Get me a short trip. 5 minus 2 is 3. M equals 0 over 3. I'm going to stop and leave that for a minute because the discussion about 0 over 3 is going to play very well against this other one. The other one I want to do is 3, 5 and 3, negative 2. 3, 5 and 3, negative 2. Okay, so we're going to put those up. I'm going to put up 3, 5 and 3, negative 2. And almost every teacher says, listen, folks, you got to memorize this at this point because they think that's the only way that people can do it. And if you memorize it, you get an A. And if you don't, you get a 0. Not going to do that for you. What we're going to do is we're going to do our regular thing. I'm going to go from 5 to negative 2. So my first move is from 5, passes through 0, and goes to negative 2. And I'm doing that like nothing's different about what's going on. That thing goes down, and it goes down on a big trip. Because, right, it goes through the zero. So that a big trip, yes, give me seven. Not three, give me seven. From the fifth floor down to two floors below ground, downward seven. Done. Now this other one is from three to three. So I'm looking at this guy, here's my zero, and I start on floor three, and I don't go up or down at all, and I stay right there, and that's a zero. And therefore, on this one, m equals negative seven over zero. It doesn't matter to me that it's negative or positive. What matters is where the zero is. This is zero divided by three. So what we have here is no money to pay the three workers in your company. You tell them, show up on Friday, and I'll give you each one-third of what we made this week. And you made zero dollars that week. So you hand them their paycheck envelope, and it's empty. How much is in each envelope? That is zero. And that is the slope of that line. Now, this other one is when you have negative seven dollars. So it looks like maybe in this week you owe seven dollars to other people at the end of the week. And you want to go divide it up. You want to divide the, the debts. You want to give each person a thing that says you owe this much money. And you take seven, this seven dollars of debt and you're trying to slice it up. And if it was positive seven, it would do the same thing. Because how many people show up? None. Nobody shows up. There's nobody to give money to. This is impossible. This is called undefined. And that's called no slope. Now, people say, okay, so when you see a zero, what I say is slow down. Do you have nothing? I don't care how many people get their small slice of nothing. It's as small as possible. It is nothing. That's okay. You can have a you know, thousand people show up. If there's no money, everybody gets zero and they go home, but something happened. They showed up, they got their nothing, and they went home. Here, no, nobody showed up. No event happened. And why is that? Because if we take something like, I don't know, let's take 9 divided by 4. 
What that is, is repeatedly dividing is subtracting. It's taken nine minus four. Okay, I did it once, I still have five. Let's try it again. I'm gonna subtract another four, I got one. Now we got two of them. So I got two full fours in there, and one's a remainder because it doesn't have four more. So that becomes two and one fourth. And that did finish. But now, if I try and do this thing, if I try and take eight divided by zero, what I'm doing is I'm subtracting zero and I get another eight, and I subtract zero and I get another eight, and I subtract zero and I get another eight, and I subtract zero and I get another eight. And I could literally run this around the room until the marker ran out or whatever, but is it ever gonna reach a point where I stop trying to do that? And the answer is no. What's actually going on is you're trying to do that infinity. You're trying to do it infinitely much. Now what we have here is two four and two and five four. We wanna graph those guys. So I'm gonna put them over here on a small graph. Two, four, and five, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, and five, four. One, two, three, four, five. 5, 4, and here's my line. And if you want to know how much effort it takes to walk on a flat line, it's very close to zero. It takes a little because of friction and stuff, but you don't have, you know, if you start rolling a bowling ball on a lake of ice, it'll go almost all the way across because it takes zero effort to do that. So that's a slope. The steepness of that is zero. It doesn't go up at all. Now I want to do the other one, 3, 5, and 3, negative 2 down here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, three, five, and three, negative two. That's a vertical line. Who can walk up that wall? It's impossible. It's not possible to do that. There's only one person, and I don't know if you'd call him a person anyway, who could walk up a vertical wall. Only Spider-Man could get that done. And since we're not Spider-Man, as far as I know, it's impossible for all of us. And therefore, dividing by zero is infinitely difficult because you can't climb up the wall. And that's going to be an undefined slope. And those are the two oddball lines. It's zero effort to go flat, and it's impossible to go vertical. And that's what the lines do. I graph these using a T-chart with just two points in them to see what they make. And therefore, you don't have to memorize. So I'm not going to tell you what to memorize. You want to figure out what to memorize. When this happens, it means that, and the line looks like that, and the slope is that, and it means nothing to you. You're memorizing. It's like a formula. But instead, if you say, okay, this is 0 divided by 3. That makes me stick around with 0. And then I draw a graph of it. I'll see it's flat. And this one, I've got division by 0, which means nobody showed up. It's not an event. It's not possible. That is no slope. Then I can do this one. And you can avoid the stuff that my teacher tried to teach me in seventh grade, where she said, if you're going like this, it means there's no slope. What? That's crazy, right? I mean, I might have taught you that if it worked the way you think it would, but no way. That's just craziness. You need to know this stuff. Great. Thanks.